look to them, nice golden color with the honey mustard. You can see what we're looking for is not to have a lot of white showing. So that means we got a nice even coating and every pretzel is going to have a lot of honey mustard and onion flavor to it. Now that they're in the bin, they'll go over, we'll put them into cake pans and we'll put them in the ovens to dry. The pretzels are put into the cake pans and then evenly dispersed so that we dry them. All we're really looking to do, we're not looking to dry or to bake the pretzels anymore. We're just looking to dry the coating onto the pretzel so it absorbs into the, especially the white part of the flavor doesn't really absorb into the hard shell of the sourdough pretzel. It gets into the inner part of the pretzel and that's where all the flavor is. So we're just looking to dry that flavor and have that oil soak up into the uh, pretzel itself. After the pretzels are dry, they're put onto a cooling rack. We want to get them down to about 75 degrees. That way they're not still warm when you put them into the package. If they're still warm when you put them into the package, you can get some steam and get some oxidation in there. We don't want that. So we want the pretzels to be nice and cool and then packed and they're as fresh as can be going to the customer. On the tour, we saw the form, fill, and seal packaging. One of the other types of packaging that we offer is what they call a pre-made pouch, which is sealed and then nitrogen flushed for freshness. One nice thing about it, it's also resealable. It's one of the real common types of packaging you see in the grocery stores right now. About a year ago, we came out with this new line of pouches with the cover bridge, uh, which is local here. It's about a mile and a half down the road. It's called Rischel Bridge. It, depending on who you talk to, it's either the oldest or the second oldest standing covered bridge still in use in the United States today and we thought it was a great uh, symbol of our